Sweet Toad. I heard the big mole has the key to the subway. Holy moly! Good pun, Toad. I'm proud of you. It was totally awesome. Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games back with another Mario Multiverse video. And this time I'll finally be making another level. I get lots of comments about please show course creation, show us making a level. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. I made this level in about four hours. It's gonna have some time lapse, sped up stuff, and I'll also slow it down and explain some stuff as I go. So starting out, I knew I wanted to use the city theme and call the level Mario's Hectic Day. So I have a little title screen here, an NPC that's gonna tell Mario he needs to hurry before he misses a subway train. And I want this to be a story kind of level with some challenges thrown in. Lots of NPCs, some that are helpful, some that just say funny things to Mario. And here I am just kind of running around, jumping around, trying to find things that work, things that feel fair. I was trying to make the level not too overly difficult, hoping that it won't be ranked up too hard. So then here, if you talk to Toad, he'll tell Mario he needs to hurry up because the train will leave soon, so we have to rush to the right. But we see a question mark block, we have to hit it, we gotta see what's in there, and we get a mushroom. These coins show us we need to make a big jump. If you don't have enough momentum, you'll fall into that poison or dirty water, whatever it's supposed to be in City's theme. Uh, and then this guy tells us that there's pesky hammer bros everywhere. Maybe this will help. He gives us a fire flower, which is perfect. Uh, if only there were some hammer brothers. So the next part of the level, I wanted to build a section with like three or four hammer bros blocking Mario's way. Something you could get through without the fire flower, but the fire flower would definitely help. So kind of emphasizes, hey, maybe you should talk to these NPCs because they might give you some items or tips that will help you. This part of the city is supposed to be under construction, so there's be some platforms that will slightly fall when you step on them, uh, and some tricky jumps is what I was going for. So here we have Toad explaining that the Hammer Brothers are everywhere, and here's the Fire Flower to help you out. And now we've actually added the Hammer Bros. So we'll just sneak up on them, shoot them, get them out of our way. Uh, if you get hit by a hammer, your best bet's just to take off running. And then this guy will tell us that this part of the city is still under construction, so be careful. <laughs> well, I just walked right off. Uh, let's try this again. So, jump, jump, jump. I probably should have put some coins leading the jumps and not just where to fall. Something we can adjust later. These little white lines I'm using to connect stuff is just more to give it a special look. You don't need to put those lines there. So now we have some grinders to dodge as well, which just makes it a little bit scarier looking, but the jumps are all the same. Nice and easy right through the grinders. And we'll go ahead and add a checkpoint here too. So I figure after a little tricky part like that, it might be kind of nice to have a checkpoint. Hit the message block. It'll give you a special little message about that checkpoint. And now adding another NPC. Talks about his new hybrid car. Then I want to have a water section with some lifts going up and down. Uh, these white lines, once again, these are not tracks. They just make it appear as if the items are on tracks. I just think it looked kind of nice, so that's why I added the white lines behind these platforms. So here we are over the grinders again. Get over to here. We get a checkpoint if we want. And then we can jump across these. I haven't added the white lines to all of them yet, but it looks like we can make it across here if we slow down a little bit. Um, everything's just kind of trial and error at this point until we find something that feels fair and not uh, too overly difficult. If we slow down there, we can easily get across. Yeah, I think this will work perfect. So we'll add the rest of our white lines and maybe some more obstacles, like some more grinders, just to make things a little bit more tricky for Mario. And if you're nice and quick through here, you can even jump across to that next one over. Or if you're brave, you can jump through the one with the grinder in the middle. You get a one up here and a checkpoint, so you have infinite lives from here on out. But now we need a new sub area. This is going to be our entrance to the subway. So just like a Mario Maker, we can drag Mario into a pipe. And when you do this, another screen pops up telling you, you know, which sub area do you want to create. You can create multiple sub areas in Mario Multiverse, unlike Mario Maker. And here I'm trying to build a subway. I haven't messed with the pixel art editor or anything. There's some different things you can do. So I'm just going to kind of do it my own way. I used water to back the text for the subway sign. Now it looks like the subway sign has water in it, but whatever. It works good enough. I'm making some little cues on which pipes to go in to get to what areas. So if we got to this part of the stage, we collect our one up, head out, and then back to Mushroom City. This guy says, dang, Skater Mole stole the key to the subway. Mario, can you get it back? 
and then this area tells us where the skate park is. But there is no skate park yet, so the next part will be building the skate park. And I used the uh, little farm theme in the city uh, because we're going to try to block out the background so it doesn't look like a farm. I just wanted to change up the scenery a bit since it's going to be a skate park. I wanted it to look a little bit different, so we'll see what we can do with it. We'll have lots of money moles on skateboards, and we need to find a key. So we're going to have to put a key in one of these money moles. I don't know if we just want to maybe have the player kill all the money moles trying to find the key. And then we'll add some obstacles because, you know, every good skate park has giant skewers trying to crush you as you skateboard. All right. So we got some different kinds of lifts and ways to climb up. This will be a vertical auto scrolling section to make things a little trickier. There's our giant mole. We'll put up another NPC up here. He'll give us a little hint um, which money mole has the key. And even with this time lapse, you probably guessed it's the big guy. The big guy's got the key. So here I am just kind of testing out the level again all the way up through the skate park. Once we get it kind of set here, we'll do a quick playthrough of it so you can see what I've built so far with the skate park. And now I'm just making some more fine adjustments, trying to make sure everything feels fair and moves smoothly. So here we are, enter the skate park. It's a pretty slow auto scroller, but if you do mess around too much, you will get pretty far behind. Uh, if you wait there, that guy will hop right over your head. It's the safer way to do it. I did it the clumsy way. Here we have a little makeshift elevator, which will pull us up and squash this guy. And then we got our two skewers up over the springs. This section ends up changing quite a bit. I do some things to kind of fix a few little problems that I encountered. And then we got the big guy, jump on his head, head back into the pipe with the key. And now we got the key to the subway, but uh, the door doesn't go anywhere, so we need to build the exit through the door into the pipe which will take us into the subway awesome next step is building the subway train i'm going to use conveyor belts to try to be like the wheels of the subway and then i tried some pipes didn't really work out i thought these red blocks for the on off switches made a pretty decent subway train it just it looked like you were entering something different so that's what i went with and then inside the subway train i just wanted multiple rooms with multiple challenges uh, kind of stuff you would see just in a regular Mario Maker or Mario Multiverse level. So there'll be a couple little tricky spots. Shouldn't be too hard. And, uh, you know, the one thing I did end up having to ch uh, change eventually is add more time because you would run out of time, especially if you talk to a lot of the NPCs. Once you make it through the subway section, next section is Bowser's Castle because you need to save the princess. So I try to make this a somewhat traditional castle level. Some pits, some... Lava bubbles, uh, fire bars, all the good stuff. And then once you defeat Bowser, you can place down Toad or Princess and you can leave a little message and you can customize it to kind of give it your own little spin on your level. And it can even fit in with your story. All right, so here we go with Mario's hectic day. Mario, you better hurry. Your train leaves soon. Thanks, Toad. It's a beautiful day in the city. Hey Goomba, squash you, and squash you. Of course we got those pesky hammer brothers, always up on the rooftops throwing hammers down. I mean, who does that? Seems like a jerk move to me. These pesky hammer bros are everywhere. They should help. Ooh, a fire flower, nice. Exactly what I needed. I can shoot these hammer bros up. Hammers are no match for my fireball gun thingy. Boom, you're dead. All right, collect some coinage. Always check the question mark blocks. You never know what could be in them. This part of the city is under construction. Be careful, Mario. Well, thank you. I know to be careful now. Hopefully I won't accidentally bonk the final grinder. Oh, I do every time. I always mess up that jump. But it must be Christmas. It's a beautiful checkpoint. Nice, so make sure you snag the checkpoint here. That way you don't have to redo stuff. Like my car? It's a hybrid. Gotta keep that Mushroom City air clean, you know. Well, that's very environmental friendly of you, Toad. Oops. <laughs> I'm a grinder magnet right now. But I've made this pretty fair. There's lots of power-ups, so even if you get hit, you still got a pretty good shot of making it through there. Alright, so here's the subway. I want to go in. Dang, Skater Mole stole the key to the subway. Mario, can you get it back? Well, let me check the door. Yep, it's definitely locked. Um, I guess I will. What's this guy up to, though? Hey, Toad. I heard the big mole has the key to the subway. Holy moly! 
Good pun, Toad. I'm proud of you. It was totally awesome. All right, so now we're in the skate park. And we got skateboard moles, and they're pretty sweet. So if we duck here, like I said, that one will hop right over our heads and not come crashing into us. No way to really warn you about that, so I bet a lot of people will probably get hit there and probably be upset with me. But what can I do? I give you lots of power-ups. That's, that's something. We got a little guy and a big guy. We can easily squash the... Oops, didn't jump for some reason. And we jumped too early. Oh my gosh, and he ran through my body and I didn't die. Uh, squash. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Finally got the big mole. That gives us the key to the subway. So once again, I was trying to make this a story level. We drop down. Uh, we enter the subway. It takes us to the pipe, which takes us down into the actual subway. And we hop on the subway car, or subway train, or subway vehicle thingy, and grab Firefly. Fireflyer makes things way easier. Off to save the princess again, Mario! Sure am, Toad. You know the drill. Alright, grab the coins. This section I reworked a million times. I had it where it was just a little bit too hard to do. Uh, so now it's a little more on the easy side, but it still has that intensity of barely getting through the door in time once you get the key coins. That room's pretty easy, and then we exit the subway. Get some coins. If you talk to that guy, you might get a little surprise. And now we're into the castle. And we took a hit because we we're running low on time, so I'm trying to rush through here. Probably could have still extended the timer a little bit, but there's lots of checkpoints, so if you do run out of time, it's not the end of the world. It does make this part a little more intense. We don't have much time, so we're just going to have to run for it, jump on the axe, and finish the level. Sorry, Bowser. And we find the princess. Thanks, Mario. I was pretty bored. What took you so long? Boom. Stage clear. Mario's hectic day. All right, I had a blast making this level. Like I said, it took me about four hours. It could have been polished a little bit more and maybe adjusted a bit, but this is only the second course I've made Mario Multiverse. I still got a lot to learn. Let me know what you thought of my course in the comments below. Also, let me know if you'd like to see some more of these course creation videos in Mario Multiverse and even in Super Mario Maker 2. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos. If you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that notification bell because the only way YouTube really likes to notify you now if I have a new video out. Uh, also hit the thumbs up button, that helps a lot, and leaving a comment also helps me tremendously. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.